Last year, I bought this drill press at an auction, and um, when I went to pick it up, they had a forklift ready, and they dumped it in the back of my pickup. And so on the way home, I pretty much agonized over how I was going to get this thing out of my truck and into my shop. According to the owner's manual, it weighs 606 pounds. I thought about dumping it over on its side and then trying to pull it out by the pedestal uh, onto my driveway, but uh, the concern was that the, that head on there, it probably in and of itself weighs um, a few hundred pounds. It was pretty top heavy and there wasn't really a safe way to uh, lay it down on its side. Alternate uh, solution would be to buy one of these gantry cranes. Um, the issue I have is that I have limited space in my shop and I only need to do something like this once in a while. They take up a lot of room and they're a couple thousand dollars. So I went ahead and decided to just build my own um, using dimensional lumber that I get from Home Depot. So this is what it looked like when I got it all put together. Um, there was nothing really complicated about it. You just use... Uh, 4x4s for the um, upstanding members. I use a 4x4 on the top and then some 2x6s and 2x4s for the uh, for the bracing. For fasteners, I use a 12D 3 and a quarter inch uh, nail, just hammered directly in, into the various pieces. I didn't get any pictures of me doing the actual construction. Um, it was somewhere right around 100 degrees outside and really I was just trying to um, to get this knocked out so I can get that drill press in my shop, and then find myself a beer. The only thing that made this a little tricky was that the drill press was super high, so I needed to build the gantry so that it was high enough that I could hook a chain hoist up to that um, horizontal member and have enough clearance to pull the, um, the drill press out of the bed of the truck. Just because of how high the thing got, um, it got a little squirrely trying to uh, build it in place and then stand it up. So what I did was I kind of built it on its side with the skids pointing up and down and then the, uh, the vertical legs were in basically a horizontal position on its side. So the way that I stood it up was I tied a rope to that horizontal part at the top and then I had a buddy kind of steady things and then I just pulled it over the skids and then it just kind of fell into the uh, upright position. So when you stand it up, uh, it tends to sway back and forth and the skids kind of go diagonal and so that's why we have all that bracing tacked on there. You can see um, to keep everything at 90 degrees when you stand it up then you can take that back off and use it to hoist whatever it is that you need to pick up. Unfortunately, I didn't get any video of me in the back of the truck actually hoisting the uh, drill press up, but you can see what I used. I used some uh, strapping and a chain hoist and just kind of ratcheted those around that top member. You can see it's bent pretty good in that picture right there. I hoisted it up about an inch or two off of the truck bed. Uh, then I pulled the truck forward and it was just kind of standing there in midair. I used a chain hoist to kind of lower it down slowly. Um, just a safety note, do not get anywhere near or underneath the load. Um, this thing is pretty rickety and it could have fell apart at any time. We lowered it down onto a furniture dolly. Uh, basically the pedestal of this thing fit perfectly on top of that. And then we used the furniture dolly wheels to kind of cart it around and get it up into the shop. I had a couple inches of clearance between the top of the drill press and my garage. So after we got finished, uh, I just basically dumped the thing back over and we took it apart and I stashed all the lumber behind my shop for the next time that I need to put this thing back together to get something heavy out.